This project is sponsored by the South Carolina Cotton Board and Cotton Incorporated and is being conducted by Dr. Plumley and myself at the Edisto Rec. This is what every cotton grower wants to see. Cotton in August with uniform height at your waist or above, a nice dark green color with lots of flowers and bowls. The yield potential in a field like this is over two bales of cotton. Unfortunately, many growers are seeing this, poor to very poor cotton that is not even knee high with few flowers or young bowls. The yield potential here is 500 pounds of lint or less. In the past, much of this poor growth and yield has been caused by root knot, reniform, and Columbia lance nematodes. Over 50% of all cotton fields have damaging levels of at least one of these species present. 2021 will be a landmark year for nematode management in cotton. Delta pine, phytogen, and stoneville will all have varieties resistant to root knot nematode, and phytogen will have varieties available that are resistant to reniform nematode. Last year, we tested the root knot resistant varieties in the field at the Edisto Rec, and they were highly successful in reducing root knot nematode pressure for the following year and seem to be close to eliminating the yield drag associated with resistant varieties in the past. Unfortunately, there's still a third species, Columbia lance nematode, as well as lesions, stubby root, and sting nematodes present in many of the same fields. These nematodes will have increased opportunities to infect and reproduce on cotton that is resistant to root knot and reniform nematodes. These other species can cause extensive damage to cotton roots, resulting in 10% or greater yield losses in many cases. Forking of roots and abbreviated tap roots are common in plants infected by the other nematodes. One way to help manage nematodes on cotton is to rotate with peanut. Peanut is not a host for any of the important nematodes on cotton. In a three-year study in Bamberg County, we found that the root knot nematode resistant cottons are very effective in reducing root knot nematode levels. In the same rotation, we found that peanuts were highly effective in reducing root knot nematode numbers and therefore pressure for the following cotton crop. For effective nematode management in the future, growers will be able to control root knot and reniform nematodes with resistant varieties, but they will need to check their fields for Columbia lance, lesion, sting, and stubby root nematodes and control them using either a peanut rotation or in or seed treatment nematicides. There always seems to be a new problem waiting in the wings, and cotton nematology, that is the guava root knot nematode. This is probably the most damaging species we have encountered on cotton. It overcomes the resistance just developed for southern root knot nematode. Fortunately, Clemson University is part of a large project working to find answers to this problem before it becomes too big. Go to www.findmenematodes.org for more information.